This was the Lake Superior Railroad Museum's first operational steam engine. Here she clouds up her backyard tracks behind the train shed. Before retiring to the museum, the seven spot switched the city's largest employer, a series of mammoth blast furnaces and manufacturing facilities called the Duluth Works. The sprawling industrial site was built in 1915 by a subsidiary of U.S. Steel. Number seven was one of three saddle tank engines purchased that year from the H.K. Porter Company in Pittsburgh. The trio worked the hot side of the mill, hauling cars of molten iron and slag. U.S. Steel started shutting down its Duluth Works in the early 1970s. By then, the facility was using diesels, and the seven spots sat forgotten, hidden, and out of sight. On purpose, some say, for donation to the museum when the time was right. That dreaded time finally arrived in November of 1971 when the hot side of the mill went cold and closed. Two years later, the engine was donated to the museum. Unlike most steam engines that are preserved far from their home rails, the seven spot is special. It was built for service here in Duluth, retired here in Duluth, and is on display today at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum here in Duluth. Instead of running away from home, this little tank engine hung around the old neighborhood. The seven spot was restored to running order in the late 1980s and was the museum's very first working steam locomotive.